user is concerned, he is very happy if the buyer can issue a letter of credit. So today's tutorial, let's just basically understand how the entire mechanism works. And maybe in upcoming tutorials, we look at each and every component of the letter of credit in a much, much specialized manner. So well, uh, in this hypothetical example, what we can assume is that I in India am wanting to buy a certain consignment of Coke bottles. You can see like this is like the guy in the United States from whom I want to buy this Coke bottles, okay? Now this guy is not very sure about my payment credentials. He would be very happy if I can issue a letter of credit that is done through a bank so that the bank can guarantee the payment and irrespective of my paying capacity, he is always sure of his payment being credited because the bank now guarantees his payment. So what he requests me is, Amlan, hey look, I really don't know about you. I mean, you are like doing trade with me for the first time around. Is it quite possible that you ask your bank, your bank, uh, I mean, to open a letter of credit in my name, such that like once I ship the Coke bottles and I provide the documents to the bank, the bank gives me the payment. You can collect the documents from the bank and get your material released. Well, that seems a win-win situation for me. I don't have any problems. So this is how like the entire thing works. This is the modus operandi. So like say this is the Coke company. It tells me to open a letter of credit. So I go to my bank in India, as we I say. I tell it that hey look, open up a letter of credit, and uh, favor the beneficiary. So the beneficiary is the guy who make who receives the payment. So like the Coke supplier would be receiving the payment, right? So like I open a letter of credit. Say the consignment value is two thousand dollars. So I open a letter of credit of two thousand dollars favoring the beneficiary in the name of the beneficiary's bank. So say beneficiary's bank is Citibank. I now issue a letter of credit favoring the Coke company and like issued it to the beneficiary's bank that is Citibank. Now Citibank on receipt of this letter of credit intimates Coke that hey look uh, we have received a letter of credit for you. So it advises. So it, this is also referred to as the advising bank. My bank, which I have used to issue the letter of credit, is called the issuing bank. Now, once the advising bank has advised, basically, uh, the seller. Now, what seller does is, it first ships the consignment. Once it ships the consignment, looks at the LC for the list of documents which it needs to provide. So, obviously, it can be an invoice, it can be like, you know, bill of lading, it can be test certificate, certificate of origin. So, all like similar kind of documents. It goes and takes this document and gives it to the advising bank. Advising bank then checks in the letter of credit for the list of documents which need to be furnished. If all is okay, what it does is it sends a document to the issuing bank SBI. Otherwise it tells the seller that hey look, one of the documents is missing, you didn't attach a test certificate. Okay, you need to give that. So like Coke immediately goes ahead and brings that document as well and then give it gives it to Citibank. Citibank then sends it to SBI. If SBI is convinced that, well, hey, everything is perfect, the country of origin is good, this, that is good, everything is good, it immediately releases the payment. Here, like, please understand that the payment is done, like, after checking the documents. It's really not, uh, like, important whether the goods have reached or not. I mean, that's not checked. Here, everything is done on the basis of documents. The credit is given to the seller on the basis of documents. That is why it's called documentary credit credit is being given on documents so like SBI then immediately releases payment irrespective of whether like uh, I mean if I have paid it or not it gives the payment okay and like it gives the payment to advising bank the advising bank then passes on the payment to the seller well obviously like we will look at further cases wherein like if the seller wishes he can also uh, have the payment being confirmed and therein like we can have a confirming bank I mean, Citibank itself becomes a confirming bank, and I mean, things uh, differ a little bit, but let's not get into all that. So, let's do it with a very simple example, and later on, we'll be looking at various other examples. So, SBI, like, once the documents are perfect, everything is great, well, it checks the documents, uh, gives the credit. So, say this the entire thing was for, say, $20,000, it passes on the $20,000 to Citi, Citi passes on the payment to the uh, seller. So he seller is very happy because he has been now guaranteed by this payment mechanism. Everything perfect. Now SBI tells me that hey look, your documents have come. You give me the payment and take your documents. So I like uh, give him the payment. I mean give my issuing bank the payment. 
collect the documents. Once I collect the documents, the documents will obviously uh, have the transfer document, the bill of trading, this, that. Stuff which helps me release the document from the port. So I go to the port along with the documents, uh, bill of lading, shipping documents, other things. Pay the custom duty, get the consignment release, take it to me, and therefore, like this is how the entire mechanism works. Well, obviously, in this case, you have seen that how we did this for an international uh, kind of a business, I mean, international sale happening here. But this can also apply to domestic transactions. I mean, it's not necessarily that it's only between like you know buyers and suppliers internationally. No, it's nothing like that. Even in domestic countries, since the seller is guaranteed of the payment because the bank takes a guarantee of making the payment, irrespective of the, I mean, buyer's capacity or I mean, irrespective of whether the buyer can do it or not. So seller is very happy that this kind of mechanism like allows him to guarantee his payment. So that's why this kind of thing can be done both for domestic transactions as well as international transactions. Uh, but please do understand that when you go to a issuing bank for opening up a letter of credit, it's uh, always important to like specify the kind of documents that you would be wanting. Like I here, when I wanted uh, like this guy to supply me the scope bottles, I would be specifying that I need a test of certificate, I need a certificate of origin, I need the bill of lading, I need this, that, I specify that. That is what the letter of credit contains. It contains the list of documents which are needed to be furnished by the seller to his bank which will be then routed to my bank, my bank checks it, makes the payment. But checks what? Checks the document because these documents are the most important thing on the basis of which credit is being made. So please do understand, if you are studying this tutorial, if you are understanding what's the letter of credit, please understand the documents form the most important part. LC is also synonymously called documentary credit because credit, that is a kind of payment is being offered by the bank just on the basis of documents. So please understand how important the documents will be in this case. The documents are found to be perfect. Advising bank passes it on to issuing bank. Issuing bank makes the payment if the documents are in order. And then like keeps the document with them until like the buyer pays them the money like if the LC is $20,000 I pay them $20,000 collect the documents take the documents to the court get my consignment released take over the goods and that's how the entire LC mechanism works upcoming tutorials we look at terms like issuing bank look at terms like conforming bank irrevocable revocable LC site LC using LC revolving LC green LC red LC and there are many such types of LC so like letter of credit in itself is a very very important financial instrument I really think we should be taking some uh, sweet little time to master this tutorials so hopefully this makes sense please do join me in my upcoming tutorials as we try and make knowledge free uh, that's a very huge mission that I have taken on really don't know how successful we can uh, we do have a few little pages we have a page on Facebook which is called facebook.com slash